Hey everybody, today in this video, we are installing an attic floor for storage reasons. We've been paying for storage for a really long time and paying way too much. Just three months of storage is the same as what it costs for the materials to put this together. So let's get to building and saving. I did recently install this attic ladder, so if you don't have one of those yet, Check the description for a link to the DIY Attic Ladder video. Here is the lumber package for our attic conversion. So what we have here, we're gonna install some floor joists across and they're going to be 12 inches deep. So we'll stay on code, we'll be strong, and you can rest easy at night. All right, so I've already got that joist in, we're gonna get the other one installed. Now, real quick y'all, did you know that when you hit the like button, you are making a contribution to feed Rusty, our backyard squirrel. He loves walnuts and pecans a lot. So I cut out this notch and this is how I'm doing all the floor joists. I have these little blocks that I cut out and they will go right up against the truss system. And then we're gonna have our floor joist is gonna go and all the load bearing is gonna be on that load bearing wall down there. All right, so this floor joist, we're putting it in and we ran into a can light. They didn't consult me before I did my attic work. Anyway, I'm just gonna notch that out. We're gonna lose about an inch and a half, no big deal. Uh, and then I'm gonna patch it at the same time. Uh, with the side thing to give it some strength back. That will be similar to a four by four, right? So that'll be plenty strong. Anyway, we've got to notch that out. <laughs> Step number one is done. I've got all the floor joists installed. Here's what it looks like from one side to the other. Still have all my tools up here. If you come up the stairs, you can see that we have 12 inches of height. And that's what it looks like. All right, and here's it from the top of the ceiling, the top of the roof. You can see the whole area to store. There's Plenty of room for all kinds of storage up here. Very excited to get using this real soon. Step number two, we've got to get this plywood laid down. Got about four sheets is my estimation and hopefully we come close to that. All right, I am very excited to get the first piece of plywood down. It's not even going to fit. Come on, geometry. All right, I had to shift, it doesn't fit. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get, I'm still getting my first piece of plywood down. It's just not gonna be on the other side. There it is. I got some PR case. Screw this down. I'm just gonna drop two in so it doesn't move on me. Let's go one over here. There it is. Slight miscalculation, I cannot get a four by eight sheet of plywood on the other side, it doesn't fit. I can cut down my pipe, can you see the pipe over here? 
I can cut that out and glue it back, or I'm gonna cut my plywood sheets in half so they are smaller. All right, now that we got these boards cut in half, we can go fit them in. Oh my gosh, it fits. Okay, we're going to tighten all this up and get some screws in. All right, y'all, the attic storage is done. Uh, I have a couple of takeaways that I wanna share with everybody before we wrap this up. Uh, one, I bought 7 uh, OSB, which is a little bit on the light side, so it's slightly spongy. As you're stepping in certain places, uh, it's not as firm as I would like it to be. That's another reason why I did go heavy on all the blocking and the joists. Uh, so keep that in mind. There's certainly other plywoods that are available out there that might be a little bit more expensive, but will give you a stronger floor. This was $10 a sheet. It's literally the cheapest stuff you could buy. It's gonna get the job done, but just, you're not gonna wanna put giant amounts of weight on it. My second learning is, it is a ton of effort. Don't underestimate this job. The plywood part, very simple. I was able to do it in maybe two hours max, and still that's because I'm trying to capture video and dealing with cords and all that fun stuff, but it's, it's actually not that hard. But the blocking and the, the floor joists, very high level of effort. And that's mainly because you're balancing on these truss systems. You might have insulation in your attic where it's gonna make it even, even more challenging. Uh, so get ready you know, to take your time on that part. You do not wanna fall through. Uh, we had zero stepping on the sheetrock, or for me, I have uh, this uh, fiber cement type board, uh, hardy plank material. So just, you know, be very careful when you're doing it and just know that that part's really difficult. Overall, I'm very happy on how the attic storage turned out. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.